guys. Okay, so now we're getting into stoichiometry. And I know it sounds kind of scary, but I think with this problems this year, I'm going to start them off because it is actually every time that you do some kind of chemical reaction, like this is already an equation. So hopefully that kind of goes back to you from first semester. So really on um, for here, now we're going to be dealing with chemical reactions, the equation itself. And yeah, the equation itself is a recipe, like especially like here, perfect example is like to make waffles or when you're making a cake. So all of those are actual chemical reactions. So really quick, so I am I thought this was a perfect example for you guys to start off for stoichiometry. And now instead of gum, we're gonna actually do gummer. And I promise really that's the last part. So we will end up with gummer. So this will be very, very, very helpful for you um, uh, during this process, uh, especially since now we're doing conversions, still doing conversions, but now in the uh, in equation, with the equation. That's the difference, okay? Later on, we're going to be talking about one a mole equals a molar mass, and then one mole equals Avogadro's number, and so on. But that will be till later on. Today, we're really going to keep it simple. Uh, at least um, the the it's just really converting it once. Uh, wish it should look like a T. Remember a, the T, and the T basically remember that you always start with your given. Okay, you always are going to start with a given. And here, there's nothing down there. Or you could just put a 1 in there. So in here, we just need one conversion. Okay? So anyways, let's get started. Okay? So in here, let's go ahead and look at the waffle recipe. So whenever you see the WM, that means waffle mix. But in, uh, you know, in chemistry, it would probably uh, be a compound or an element. Okay? And this will be how many compounds or elements are going to be there. And then here, that's the eggs, that's the milk, okay? And then that's the waffle, which makes 12. So that means um, three cups of waffle mix, two eggs, and one cup of milk, which is one, but you know, there's the one, you don't have to show it. And we'll make 12 waffles, okay? So now let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now that we have our equation, you need all these ingredients these are your reactants to make this product, okay? So that's how the arrow is because it's going to make 12 waffles exactly with, with this. Okay, so now let's get started with uh, the problem number one. Problem number one shows, um, shows how many waffles, so waffles um, can be made uh, with six eggs. So six eggs is obviously going to be our given. So six eggs. So we're going to put six eggs. Okay. And you know, this is eggs, right? Uh, so this bottom part should be eggs. Okay. It should be eggs. But we don't have conversions here yet. Okay. But let's just keep that in mind. Okay. So anyways, what is the unknown? The unknown is going to be waffles. So obviously, we're going to end up with waffles here, okay? So, um, okay, so now molar mass, you should already know that that is a mass or grams. And since we don't have anything to do with mass or grams here, really, we just don't need it, okay? I would have put it in there, okay? Now, mole ratio, mole ratio, you have to think of it as given a known. It's always going to be the setup as your unknown on top and your uh, given on the bottom, like the U over G, always. So that means your mole ratio is actually going to be here, okay? That's going to be your mole ratio, okay? So anyways, so your unknown is going to be uh, waffles, right? So this, the mole ratio is based on the equation. Again, this is based on the equation. So you use the equation to know uh, the mole ratio. Always mole ratio is based on the equation, okay? So the unknown, uh, again, is your waffles. So where's the waffles? Waffles is 12, 12 
waffles. Okay, so again, and the given is uh, eggs. So the eggs will be two eggs. So it would be two and then EG. Okay, so you need those numbers, this, uh, those moles, the 12 and the 2, and that's how you guide yourself. Okay, so again, this is based on the equation. And then your unknown is waffles, right? Okay, but you get the num you get the waffles from the equation. Okay, and then the given is eggs. So the eggs, okay, you just get the eggs, but you get the number, the mole number from the equation. So super important. So, so all you have to do, since this is eggs on the bottom, then your mole ratio is the one that's going to go here. Okay, so this is two eggs and 12 waffles. Okay. So now uh, this canceled out. Okay, so now you are ready to put it in the calculator. So again, you could always divide this. You could always do that division first and then you multiply it by six. You could do that. So like 12 divided by two is six and then six times six equals 36. And you see it's 36. So actually, with six eggs, how many waffles are you going to make with six eggs? You're actually going to make 36 waffles. Okay, so basically, that's how we do conversion. Now, this is a, a better way how to picture it. It's a really, really good way because that's exactly what happens in a chemistry lab. It's very much similar to a recipe. But since we're dealing with equations, that's why we worded them like that, okay? But it's very much the same way, okay? So, um, so basically, make sure you do your answers there.